what up you guys welcome to today's video we're so excited because we are going shopping today part two of our Costco Sam's Club um, you know shopping for vending machines video we want to start a series we want to kind of start doing this and you guys really enjoyed the video last time we did it but this time around we are actually gonna do some changes I'm gonna tell you guys kind of like the products that have worked for us and the products that haven't we're still shopping in the same place we're still going to Costco we're still going to Sam's Club but there's a lot of stuff that just haven't worked for us I don't know this is a personal opinion me my little person and Ale we've just had some products work some products not um, but I don't know let you guys let us know as you watch the video hopefully you guys will let us know if those products were for you guys it's just personally um, some stuff haven't worked for us but majority of the stuff have worked for us so we're gonna go we're gonna show you guys and we love going shopping for our vending machines we always make a fun trip out of it so we're just gonna bring you guys along please 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 if you haven't already subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell like this video and yeah subscribe if you haven't already and let's get started he is already waiting in the bus for me so we are actually gonna get going and yeah we'll see you guys in a bit okay my beautiful people we just got to sam's club watch this i'm probably gonna fall because i'm so clumsy i'm always tripping we just got to sam's club oh my god this sun this sun you guys it's about to be october and it's still really hot here in arizona right baby mm -hmm. so hot doesn't seem like october anyways we just got to sam's club i got my mouth cover i'm about to put it on and we're gonna go inside and we're gonna see what we could find um we know we need some danishes we know we need some chocolates like for sure we need reese's and i think snickers i don't know we'll see once we're inside let's get inside first oh my god it smells so good oh it smells so good okay i'll see you guys once we're inside Okay, so Snickers, we always have to have Snickers because those sell really, really good. The peanut butter M&Ms do okay, but these Reese's sell like crazy. Like we're going to start putting double lines because people really like Reese's um, peanut butter cups. I don't know. They sell a lot, a lot, a lot. We were buying, okay, so the last time we came to Costco, well, not the last time we came to Costco, the last time we did the video um at the beginning we were buying one box of everything you guys like we were buying a box a box and you can see the prices obviously they're 30 dollars, 24 dollars um and we were having like all of them one of each one of each we were all buying like the twix the musketeers the kit kat and it's just a lot the what's the other one the um oh i can't think of the name but we have to start buying like like these don't sell a lot kit kat sells but they sell very slowly they don't really sell fast like a box will last us a while so the main things that are always running out are the snickers and the reese's pieces so we've learned you guys like at first we just wanted to have a variety of stuff but it doesn't work like that like we were just spending money on a lot of chocolate and the ones that were taking longer to sell were just sitting there so what we've learned is to just buy what sells the most obviously and have some options yes but not nothing crazy the almond joy people really enjoy that people really like that so anyways same thing with danishes at first we were buying a lot of danishes now we just buy like the ones that we know sell the most um well, some locations are pickier than others and that's been like a struggle of ours because we have some locations that want like the breads like the muffins and the breads but other locations really like sweet stuff like chocolate and the like the cheese danishes and the apple pies so we've had to kind of like buy a little bit of everything because some locations like these apple pies most of our locations really love those apple pies but like the these danishes don't sell everywhere they only sell in some places 
and the donuts same thing they sell in some places so i don't know do you guys have the same issue like do you guys have to buy different stuff depending on your location or do all your locations sell the same let me know comment down below and tell me because i'm curious to know if it's just us or if it's in general here's the crackers okay so these oh my god you guys these for example these little ritz crackers i don't know if you guys um have tried these they're really really yummy and they come with cheese and every time we put them in the vending machines like people like them but they get stuck in the coils because i don't know if you know the packaging but basically there's like a little space in between that i don't know if you can see that and the way we put it we've tried we've tried putting them standing sideways like we've tried different ways and they get stuck in the coils and then we get calls like the crackers are stuck in the coils it's not giving me my crackers and people get mad because they really like them so we stopped buying them completely we don't buy these anymore um we used up the rest of what we had the last time we bought a box there was 30 of them we sold all of them and that's it like that's the last time we bought them it sucks because they sell really really good and they're so yummy but it just it doesn't work on the vending machines i don't know i don't know if you guys have had the same issue i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about but it's the same thing with these donuts we had stopped buying these donuts because when you put these donuts in the coils they're obviously they're like fluffy donuts so they're you know they're like bad they're wide so sometimes they get stuck they're just a pain in the ass to put inside like they're a pain to put inside and that's why we avoid putting them in but people keep asking us and they kept asking us can you guys put these in the vending machines like, can you bring the donuts so we're like fine so now we put donuts and apple pie and and you know just like the danishes but struggle you guys finding what works and what doesn't work is not it's a process okay now we are at the soda where the sodas are at obviously we need pepsi dr pepper mountain dew and coke and he's he's looking i don't know if you can see him but he says there's no coke so if there's no coke here hopefully we will have coke at costco because we need coke coke was like the main thing that was out in all the vending machines so things that we always need are dr pepper pepsi and coke it's insane but yeah okay you guys basically this is what we have so far um we for sure have to go to costco we were planning on going to costco anyways but we were mainly going to go to costco for like the danishes because we prefer to buy the danishes at costco but we just didn't find a lot of stuff here um they didn't have coke they didn't have gatorades and we need that for sure we need it so we're gonna have to get that at costco and overall you guys it's just been a little bit of a struggle um finding finding stuff like finding gatorades finding cans like especially soda cans like fanta like orange fanta strawberry fanta we always have to go to walmart to look for that cherry coke we could only find that at walmart and sometimes we have to go to different walmarts like they don't have it at every walmart sometimes we have to go to um a different walmart sometimes we'll go to walgreens walgreens will have like some specials so we will buy it at walgreens when they're on special when they have like four for something like three for nine dollars or three for ten dollars something like that he takes advantage and will buy them but brisk um we had a really hard time finding it and finally we found some at walmart and he bought so we've just been having to to do that the 12 packs because obviously the brisk and the fontas they don't sell those in 24 packs so he bought three of the brisk three of the strawberry fanta three of the cherry coke three of the seven up and that's what we're using to fill up the machines this week you guys it's like at costco okay yeah it's still hot so they're gonna melt in the car we're gonna get the reese's at costco um so same thing you guys as far as like our storage we don't have like a warehouse or anything like that we're small vendors so we have to buy as we're obviously filling up the machines every week every couple weeks we obviously do the shopping and um 
just try to remain within our budget you guys we are small vendors we're still like at the beginning of this business and we're just kind of like having to um buy things little by little so we don't waste anything so we don't have a bunch of expired product and so we don't have to worry about where to store it because that's also like an issue storing all the stuff that we buy which actually we've been lucky because since we got the bus, we've been able to leave some stuff in the bus. And now that it's finally cooling down, it's not going to be so hot anymore. We'll be able to leave a lot of the stuff in the bus. So that's a good thing. That's a plus. It's going to be like a little place for us to store everything. So anyways, we're going to finish up here. We're just going to pay for this stuff. And then we're going to go to Costco and get the rest of the stuff that we can hopefully find at Costco. He's got the wallet ready in his hands, ready to pay. <laughs> Thank you. Good day. The amount of times that I hit myself. Okay, we're at Costco, Costco Business Center. So we're just gonna get the Cokes and we're gonna get the donuts because we left the donuts at um, Sam's Club because we didn't want them to melt. And the Reese's, the Reese's pieces. And then we're gonna see what else we can find. So let's go. So first thing we do is walk in and there's two pallets of chocolate and you guys look at how lucky we are We didn't get it at Sam's Club because we don't want them to melt, but look at this Instant savings three dollars and fifty cents off. So This one too. Look at that It was meant to be we get to okay. save Fire and some money always check the expiration date not bad 2021 you guys we hit the jackpot yeah yes good thing we didn't get that at sam's club Oh yeah, we bought these little muffins last time because in one of our locations they really like these type of breads. They don't like the sweet stuff. They like like the bread, like coffee, things that you can have with coffee. So those sold really really good. And then the donuts, of course, all sold. It's insane how the donuts like literally sold out. Oh. But these are not the donuts we normally buy. Yeah, so those we're going to sell for $150 because as you can see up here, they are not cheap. And there's only eight of them. They're eight count. So we'll sell these for $150 and these for $150. We try to put different prices on there, but some things we do have to raise the price because they're just more expensive, you know? So the other danishes, like the cheese danishes, those are cheap, like $1. Apple pie is $1. I really like 
the cheese danishes. Oh, these. No, not these. The cheese ones are really, really good. No Coke. No blue Gatorade. Um, no orange Gatorade. And no, and no, yeah, no orange Gatorade. The only Gatorade they have is the yellow one, and the yellow ones do not sell good in our location. That's why we don't put the yellow, it just doesn't sell good. We actually ended up pulling like a whole bunch out of one of our machines because they didn't sell at all. The red ones sell a lot. The blue ones sell in one of our locations every day at least one or two bottles will sell at the mechanic shop that we have they love the blue gatorade so we're gonna need that blue gatorade we're gonna need to find it somewhere 146 here thank you Alrighty, you guys, we are out of Costco. It was really loud in there, so I didn't want to do the outro, but he's just loading everything up in the bus, you guys. We had no luck with the Coke. We had no luck with the Blue Gatorade. Um, I don't know why. They didn't have it at Sam's Club. They didn't have it here. Hopefully, I don't know, maybe they'll have a shipment in here soon. Um, but if not, he's gonna have to go to Walgreens, Walmart, and just search around but we're not gonna do this video like going to all the different stores um because we're not even gonna have time to go today he's gonna just do that sometime before he goes to fill up the machines during the week and we're just gonna hopefully find the stuff by um by like wednesday thursday because i think that's when he's gonna go fill up the machines so anyways leaving your comments like do you guys have these issues how do you like deal with it what do you do when you can't find stuff and your locations need it like it sucks when you know sometimes you don't need it so you're like whatever it's fine we'll wait till next time but what do you do when you know your locations need it you know your machines have no coke no whatever and you can't find it like is it frustrating do you guys go to other stores how do you guys solve the issue basically what we're gonna do is that just try to find it somewhere else for a good price because we can't pay a whole lot of money for a coke you know so anyways, thank you guys for watching today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. We really like going to the stores and shopping and bringing you guys along. So we're gonna try to do one of these videos once in a while. We know you guys really enjoy it. And thank you so much. Please like, like, like. We appreciate your likes. We appreciate your comments. And we will see you on the next video. Bye.